How's it going guys? Jason here from Inshore Fishing. How's it going? I hope everyone's well. Right, today we're not going out to do the pots and often. We're going to take the boat into town. I'm going to dry her out and clean the bottom of her because she's getting a bit weedy. And uh, we're going to give it a little bit of a maintenance check over and stuff like that. I've got a couple of anodes I want to put on and that. But we'll run you through that in the video guys. Like I say, you can see here. A little bit of weed starting to build up on the edge there. You can see it more this side see the weed build up there and what that will do is that will put drag on the boat and it will slow us down so we want to get that off really guys and uh should be smooth as anything so yeah we're just going to sort the boat out i've just fixed my hand pump and my hand pump had gone around the back here that there i've just replaced that the rubber on it because the rubber had broken and it wasn't pumping so yeah here's my new reel i just brought yesterday i bought a new reel exactly the same as what i had already so yeah guys, we're, uh, we're going to get the boat all sorted and start making our way around there in a bit guys. See you soon.
it now and let it dry. Shouldn't be too long. There's my brother's boat there to the side of us. He's bleaching his today as well. I'm just going to sit and wait now. Right guys, we'll get you back once the tide's down and we start doing a bit of work. There she is, sitting nicely. Nice to just get her on the sand there. You can see the weed on the bottom of her there, look. That's what we want to be uh, taking off. Check that out for a boat, guys. The London Queen. Used to be Weymouth Queen. Now it's come to Guernsey. And that's going to be turned into a restaurant and it's going to be uh, situated in the marina where I am so yeah it'll be interesting to see I'm sure I'll be going for a meal on there at some point when it's done weird it's got a propeller at the back there and a propeller at the front there weird never seen anything like it there's my boat there my brother's boat there both high and dry and get the weed off it after do a bit of maintenance on it so we'll get you back then guys that's my old boat there guys, look, the one I started the channel with, the Island Plastic 21, same as what I've got. She's looking quite smart in that colour, I like blue. Anyway guys, we're back down here, we've got the drill, we've got the bits we need, hopefully. And uh, we're going to start putting these anodes on and that, alright, so uh, stay tuned and we'll uh, show you exactly what we're up to. That's the work I did last year guys, look, I had some brackets welded up there. And glassed all that in so I wanted to check all this make sure nothing's moved and by the looks of things nothing has moved it's all sound so I'm happy with that so I say I've got some anodes I want to put on here and drill through the steel and then just get this get this weed off it hopefully but yeah it's the first time we've dried her out since I've had it <coughs> we give her a little bit of a clean on her bottom wipe her bum Right guys, these are what they call the anodes, that's going to go there, like that, and I'm going to put one the opposite side as well. The idea of these is it st helps stop ru the rust on the boat, obviously because of salt water, it corrodes and rusts things, like steel and that, so um, yeah, we're going to put them on, put them on there, and that's going to help us guys, help a lot. So stay tuned and we'll get this done. Or snap it. Alright, so first hole done, now we're going to go next size up, and then after that, size up again. Third drill bit, now the next one, next one should be the last one guys. Nice big thick one like this, brand new, hopefully that should go through nice and easy. Alright guys, we're through. Happy days. So now, like I say, what we want to do, keep these washers safe. We need to put one of these on, guys. Just helps protect it. So that goes on there, obviously, like so. That will go through there. That goes on there like that. That will go through there. Put a washer on the back. Put a knot on the back as well. And then what we'll do after, once I've drilled the other one, what we'll do, we'll tighten that up, guys. Now, I'm, I am a little bit, you might be thinking the same, I am a little bit concerned because that is slightly lower. But do you know what? The boat never dries, only when I want it to dry. Because it's sat in the marina, obviously it never dries. So I'm not worried about it touching that. And it's well away from the prop. So we're going to get the other one bolted on, guys, exactly the same. And get this done. Happy days. There are guys, two anodes, one in the air, look, one on the inside of that, and one on the side there. Probably trim that off like that, trim that bit off there. But yeah, happy days. Right, we're going to bleach this. I'd like to say, I might quick check this. We'll see, because last time I'd take the rudder off, but we'll have a look anyway. We might check this for the packing. Right guys, we put some bleach in now. Just going to put some bleach into the bottle. And then we're going to 
Like I say, bleach all this down, get all this greenery off it. Turned up, he's going to give us a hand to spray the boat. Yeah, as I say, spin that nozzle a little bit. You can see already, guys. You can see already how it's starting to turn white. And then basically we bleach the whole boat, try and get up here in that pool. I don't know if it will come off that, yeah. There's a bit up here. Yeah. And uh, hopefully, guys, once the tide comes off and I motor back around to the marina, that will all just wash off. not got as much weed as I thought it would have had on it. It looked a lot worse on the rudder and stuff. There's quite yeah. a bit, but yeah. What a difference, eh, guys? A little bit of a squirt, a little bit of a scrape. Get all that grime off of it. Eh? So if we get all that grime off there. Yeah. Now guys, you can see how it's all turning white. It's all going white, which is killed and killing it off. And a little brush with a stiff brush and it's coming up a treat, guys. I mean, look at that top. How clean that's come up. Lovely, happy days. It's what we want to see. Right guys, what we're going to do is we're going to try and pop this off today as well while we're down here and have a look because obviously as you can see there's oil leaking here and that's coming from my winch. I'm hoping, fingers crossed, I'm hoping it's just a seal gun. Something I'm hoping that will be easy enough replaced. Paul's just nipped off to get some allen keys so I haven't got any allen keys in my box. I'm hoping we can pop that out and maybe just change the seal on it. There's the engine, a big old beast. 38 horse beater um, I've just done all the greasing on the stern glands I've checked the stern gland packing that's all alright still so um, yeah it wasn't much that I wanted to do today it was more just to clean the bottom of the boat off get that weed out of it and uh, give it a little tidy up really so yeah we're going to crack on and I think Paul's just got back hopefully we're going to get this out and see if we can fix it because I'm pretty sure I'm losing pressure because it's a hydraulic system so it's leaking obviously hydraulic fluid which is not allowing me to get the power that I should have in my winch guys so I'm trying to get this off and see what we can fix well guys we couldn't get that out um, the nuts are too too round no they're not rounded off but they're so stuck in there I don't want to take the chance of rounding them off so I think for now we're just going to leave them and um, I'll get somebody else to have a look at that for me because I've got to I've got to get the seal done on that and I've also got to replace this which I've got a brand new one but when I first bought the boat I went to undo one of the nuts here as you can see and it sheared off and I thought do you know what I'd rather not touch it I'd rather leave that for somebody else to do and that way if they break it it's their problem sort of thing even though I'll be paying for it but yeah so that's majority of the uh well, that's the majority of it done then guys for what I wanted to do today. Um, so we're just going to wait for the tide to come up now guys and then hopefully get her back on her mooring and hopefully she goes a little bit better. So stay tuned guys and we'll get you a little video on the way back into the marina once the tide comes up. See you later. Hey guys, back down the boat. The tide's on its way up now as you can see. Just starting a lap up round here now. There it is. Looking nice and clean. Won't be long. Hopefully. We'll be up. And we'll be motoring back out. Back to the morning guys.
guys cheers for uh, coming along on that little video i said it was a little bit of a maintenance video um, i have noticed though now it's been floating that it's leaking quite a bit from the stir gland so i'm gonna have to take it down the bridge where dano's got his boat tomorrow morning dry it out and get the mechanic to have a look at it and uh well, he's gonna have to fix it for me so you never know the boat might have to come out of the water for a week or two but it is what it is so yeah cheers for coming guys cheers for watching the video hit that like button and i'll catch you on the next one eh? see you later Well, right, that's the water. You can see it's obviously coming out from the bottom of there. And you can see there's quite a continuous pour. It's not as if it's a little dribble. It's quite a bit. So then this is what I'm on about. This thing here, the shaft, I can spin it, look. You can see it's obviously, it has spun loose. Oh, there you go. Right, that's actually tightened up mate, to be fair, but now let's put the leak to the front on the coupling side. I don't see, you can see that thread obviously shouldn't be that far out, you know.